Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ability here. We're going to be doing some 1v1 Colosseums on my Zeller. We got a match versus Sacrier, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go AP reduction. I'm going to take a Crocoburr, if I can find it. Here it is. And I'm going to take... Should I take Teleport? I'm take a Reflect. Temporal Instability. I'm not going to take Teleport. And we'll see how we go with these spells. So playing AP reduction is pretty much a cop out, just because it's so easy. But it's effective, so I don't feel bad at all. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to come up here, put a KO up behind me, do this, flight on myself, flight on the KO it, cog. And I'm going to do a desynchronization to prep for next turn. So when my turn starts, I'm going to go back here. And then the Kaowit's going to swap me because of the order that I cast Flight. So he has a Protect, so I don't want to start fighting him until his Protect is gone, if possible. What he's going to do is he's going to rush in, or at least he should. So he's probably in a Projection. Yep. But the thing with AP Reduction is it's actually not terrible for me to start fighting him early. Only because... I can make him lose tons of AP, so his protect won't matter very much. But here my goal is to kill the sword. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Mummification and Petrification to kill the sword and start charging Petrification for future turns. So now I'm going to I'm just going to run, it's not worth doing anything else, do that this and I'll do another desynchronization here just in case I want to use that in the future yeah so he's gonna kill the synchro it's fine I mean his protect is wearing off so I'm fine to wait as long as he wants to all right so he's strength it's good for me to know and I'm pretty much just going to keep chilling over here. I want him to be the one that engages. Because whoever engages first gets less of a turn. And I also... Um, I want to wait out his protect. So there's no real rush for me at all. So I'm just going to start buffing up over here. There we go. And I'll do a couple more desynchronizations. And we'll be good. I'm not even going to do counter. Just do a cog on this guy. Yeah, I'm just going to chill here. Alright, nice. So I cast Flight on myself, so I'm going to swap with the Chaffer at the start of my turn. And get plus 2 AP. Alright, so his Protect is gone next turn, so hopefully he swaps one of these in. I didn't use counter because I want to get the maximum number of turns with him hitting me. So if I had used counter that turn, he could have just waited out two turns and it wouldn't have had any impact on the gameplay. So I wonder if he'll come close or not. He only have, has 25 AP parry. Nice, this is great for me. All right. So now I'm going to use counter on everyone. And we're going to start making his life not fun. There we go. Do this. Does he have an ivory? He does. So we'll put him back over here. And I will now do flight on both of these. Alright, so he has 4 AP. I'm going to bring the Ratchney here so I can start healing off of it with Crocobur. Thanks for that double hit, Jaffer. <laughs> All right, so he's fully locked. I think I messed up my flights. Um, I think he's going to move here at the start of my turn, and then the dial's gonna go here. If that happens, it'll be annoying, but it'll be fixable. Oh no, I did it correctly. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do this. Get some AP reduction, get rid of his ivory. Put him back over here. Flip him back, flight, this, 
And that. There we go. So he has 5 AP now. I'm just going to leave the Arachne here. And get some heals off of it. Nice. Chaffer's getting AP boosted from the Zeller Dial. So it's hitting twice. It's actually kind of funny. If it was a Chaffer Lancer, it would be nice. Alright. So I'm going to... Deal lots of damage to him. Alright, let's get rid of his ivory. Put him back over here. Wow, it's laggy. And I don't think he gets another turn, so I'm gonna use haziness. Yeah. He just logged out. And he should have, he had one AP, so. <laughs> Uh, I don't think he lost HP. I think he actually just quit the fight, but he might have lost his HP. But that's AP Reduction Zeller versus people who don't stack AP res. So, unlucky for him. Let's go on to the next fight. Okay, we are against a Foggernaut here. So versus a Fogger, I think I'm going to go Hecax build. And I'm going to take... I kind of want desynchronization so that in case they're pushback. Huh. Nell is so big in this build though. Um, I'm going to stick with Nell. Hopefully they're not pushback. I'm actually going to take this in case they're crit. Maybe I'll take a Lava Smith. Yeah, I'll take a Lava Smith in case they're pushback. And I think all my other spells are good. Tempo up shield's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with, with Nell, just in case they're not pushback. They're not, they're Omni. So I probably should have kept the Crimson because Crimson would be really helpful. Especially being dual element, it would be helpful. And if they use Ambush, I'm going to, yeah, they definitely use Ambush if they use Scaffender. So, they're playing the erosion game, it doesn't really matter. They should have played Unbewitch. Just because Zeller can't heal. So it's not really beneficial for them to play Erosion like it is to other classes. Alright, so I'm gonna go over here. They have a protect, so I am just not interested in dealing with them. Do this. Here we go. Okay. So Drill, Evolution 3, Bathy Scafe. Yep, they're coming over here. They're just going to kill the Synchro. So I have Rewind. Maybe should have taken Reflect. However, no. Don't need it. Okay. So not much for me to be doing here. Because the Drill is already Evolution 3, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to smack it a little bit. Oh, I don't have the diagonal spell. Shoot. All right. Well, I can stack Turk on this. Yeah, that's the best that I got. All right, so I'll swap back. They're probably gonna kill this, and if I had to guess, put a lifesaver on it. Yeah, they're using ambush. Okay. Yep, so Trawler, I guess. Can they kill it? 4 AP? Yeah, they can just use that again. Unless it's one per turn, but I don't think it is. Hmm. Alright, so they still have their... Um, protect so I'm still just not really in a rush to fight them so what I'm gonna do is this I think this is the best place to go Probably should have ran the Arachne here, just so I can teleport on it. They have 
linocytomy there? They do. Ooh, that hurts. And they're in the uh, the new set, so they don't even have to crit. Okay. So is now full charged? Not yet. Now it is. So we'll use Nell. This. And I just want to make it hard for them to get out of here. I want them to go, have to go deeper in this way if they want to get out. Locking a Foggernaut is a huge way to kind of trash on their gameplay because they don't have too many great ways of escaping. So like he just used seven AP to escape and he didn't even gain that much distance. So he should have definitely gone this way, not this way. But I guess he wants the Bathyscape. Is he gonna, what's he doing? All right, well, I'm not melee, so breakwater doesn't help you, buddy. That was interesting. All right, well, he misplayed there. So good game to him, but locking him was really the thing that won me it. He also just made some mistakes when he engaged. He shouldn't have engaged like that. He didn't have enough damage for it. So on to the next fight. Okay, so we have a fight here against another Zeller. Sure, let's both go Hecax. All right, so we're both gonna go the Hecax build. Gotta make sure to take Temporal Op Shield. I think, I think I'm gonna take Flight. I'm gonna take Crit Res, cause Hecax is a crit build. And I'm gonna pray that I have more initiative. Is that all I need? Rollback is good, flight is good. Okay, here we go. No, they beat me in initiative. Oh no. How did they beat me? It must be so close. Look at this, we have the exact same res in every single element. We're in the same set. That's funny. Did they use rollback there? They did use rollback, that's good for me. Alright, so I'm going to put my Shinko here, do this, use Temporal Ops Shield, Flight on myself, and we should be good. I should have cast Flight on myself twice, but I didn't. And I want to save my rollback for next turn because they're going to use Rewind and I'm going to bring them back with rollback. But I also use Temporal Ops Shield, so they get screwed over by this. They should not engage, in my opinion. Oh, I gave them that free telefrag. That's not good. Alright, that was a lot of damage. And I have nine crit res. Not good. Time rift. Alright, that was smart of them. on them and then also haziness because they use haziness on me so this is just going to reset their hp and they already use time rift so they're going to use rollback here oh it didn't work because the synchro swapped it first that was hilarious rip that was a mess up they thought that they were going to be here one of those two cells i forget which one <laughs> so i cast flight on them i think Yes, I did. Hope oh, they used MP. Shoot. All right.
Yeah, I think I do it like this. More damage. Oh, I didn't crit. That's so annoying. So they all, they don't have rollback because they used the last turn. So they will probably like run here and then use time rift or just use time rift. Maybe they're going to put me on that cell. Maybe they walk here, heck axe, walk here, dollar punch. So I wonder if they're going to, no, they want to end over there. Okay. It's not a good idea though, because I can literally just do this. Doesn't really matter either. GG, Zeller. That was a good fight. Playing the same set is pretty fun. Um, I thought that they were going to win because of the initiative. However, they used rollback incorrectly. Had they used rollback on the appropriate turns, like adding, if they hadn't used it turn one, and if it had worked on turn three for them, it would have been a different fight. But they messed up those two turns, and that really allowed them to not deal very much damage. So, on to the next fight. Alright, we have a fight here against a SRAM. For SRAM, I'm going to go Chance. Chance does not have very high damage, however, it does have some lifesteal with Clock. So, I think we're probably good on the setup. Do I need anything specific here? No, I think we're good. I think I'm going to take... Petrification. Only because I can stack it on their double. I think we're good here. So let's start. They are full agility. They have Domakuro and Sparkling Silver. One, two, three, four. I think it's going to be worthwhile to take some AP of theirs, turn one. Let's do this. All right. So this way I block their double from getting to me with the accomplice. However, if they mass grave, that's gonna be a little annoying. So epidemic, it's gonna go on both of those. Sick rat, so it's gonna go on me as well. All right, so Epidemic is on everything. Okay. So I'm going to do this. Okay. Yeah, so Epidemic is rough. I prevented it from spreading by resummoning this, not ending two cells into it, and then this didn't have anything to bounce to. So they just went invisible from here, and they had a lot of MP. Nine, I think. One. Alright, so eight AP from the corner, and they used six, one, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, one. So they could be over there. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to lock in the double like this. Okay, so now the double cannot activate any traps. And... Let's see, they've got 3 MP from here, 3 MP, oh does the double explode this turn? They used all 3 at once, alright that was not the best idea, 3 MP and they used it all at once, that those are my top guesses, wrong on that one. wrong on that one okay so let's do this then thanks okay all 
Alright, so I was one off over there. So my Synchro is about to die. I chose to heal off of it. That was not a great turn by me. I should have definitely done something better. I didn't even charge the Synchro back up after healing on it. Repelling trap. So they're running, I guess. Oh, they're making a trap line over here. this. Let's heal off of them. Do that. Now I think I should do rewind. However, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that they're visible. I'm actually just going to do more damage instead. So the Nell for that one, I timed poorly because Ivory took off the chance damage. They just got their Damakuro buff, which is not good for me. Their chance Agi with a Cthulhu bow. Okay, so I know that there's a trap line somewhere over there. So what I can do here, I'm gonna have to use mummification. So what I'm gonna do is this mummification. And now I have three MP. But I'll do this time rift. Do I have epidemic? No, and I'll do this. So there's a bunch of traps over here. I saw them do Murray Trap, Murray Trap, Repelling Trap. So I don't want them to um, push me into that. Ah, oh, Mass Grave, that's bad. Hopefully the double, oh, it can get to me as well. Not good. All right. So I'm gonna do Temporal Op Shield. Heal a little bit. Premonition, haziness, and weapon skill. Come on, Chaffer, activate some traps. Nope. Took the Bulbous buff away, though, and broke Ivory, so that's good from the Chaffer. Secret trap. Okay, so I was thinking they might swap with their double, however, they didn't, so my Temporal Op Shield's kind of wasted here. Unless it prevents this trap line from happening. Which it actually might. Oh no, because I'm mass graved still. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, I see. That was pretty interesting. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is swap on over with the chaffer. Cast rewind. Heal a little bit. Yeah, that was not the best. Oh well. I just gotta stay away from that trap line. Alright, so I think they have invis, so 3 MP from here, 30% erosion on me. Alright, so 5 MP from here. And they used all 5. So they're probably there if I had to guess. Or here? No. Okay, so I'm gonna guess. Around one of these cells. Got him. GG. Alright. That was uh, a nice ending there. They didn't play well, in my opinion. They could have won that. However, they didn't use Mass Grave enough. And they also just never activated the traps, really, that they placed. So... All in all, I think the heals really saved me. My chance build allowed me to lifesteal off of my own summons, and when the SRAM's invisible, there's not much else to be doing, so that's really helpful. And then they didn't use their MP correctly. They should have used it one by one, because otherwise I wouldn't have even wasted my time trying to guess where they were. However, I got to kill them on the last turn there, because they just used all five at once, and it was a really predictable spot. So, that was fun. Um, I'm going to end the video there. It was a 
good session of coloing. I actually won quite a lot of these fights. So until next time, this has been Ability, signing off.